Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two yellow shaded uh, squares and this uh, green uh, shaded circle with the center P put together as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, the area of this uh, larger uh, square is uh, four square units whereas the area of this uh, smaller square is uh, one square unit. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's uh, focus on this uh, big uh, square whose area has been given to us as four square units. And now we are interested in calculating the side length uh, of uh, this big square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area is always equal to S square where S represents the side length of the square. And if I label uh, its uh, side length uh, as uh, X, then all these uh, side lengths uh, are going to be X across the board since we are dealing with the square. So therefore we are going to fill in this uh, formula. So we are going to have uh, x square equals to 4. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking the square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our x value simply turns out to be positive 2 units. So therefore the side length uh, of this uh, square turns out to be 2 units uh, across the board. And now we are going to focus on this uh, small square uh, as well. And I'm going to label it side length uh, as y. Then all these uh, side lengths are going to be y across the board. And we know the area of this uh, small square is 1. So therefore we could write uh, y square equals to 1. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our y value is going to be positive 1 unit, the side length of this uh, small square. So the side length of this uh, small square turns out to be 1 unit uh, across the board. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, side length of the larger square is 2 and the side length of this uh, smaller square is 1. So therefore uh, this tiny segment uh, length is going to be 1 and in this uh, next step I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, BC on this uh, big square. So this way we are ended up with this uh, chord BC and in this uh, next step I have drawn uh, this uh, diameter EF that is perpendicular to this chord BC. And in this uh, next step I have drawn this uh, chord uh, AD that is parallel to this uh, diameter EF. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, chord uh, AD length is going to be equal to this chord BC length by the definition of symmetry. And we can see that uh, this uh, segment length uh, is 1. So therefore we conclude that this uh, segment uh, TF length is going to be one unit as well. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to the chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. So no wonder this uh, diameter EF is going to bisect this chord BC. In other words, uh, this segment uh, CT is going to be equal to this segment uh, BT. And now let's make an observation. Uh, this is uh, our radius of this uh, green circle. I'm going to label this one as uh, lowercase r. And now we know that uh, this segment length uh, is uh, 2. So therefore uh, this segment uh, BT length uh, is going to be radius r minus 2. So this is going to be r minus 2. And if this segment uh, bt is uh, r minus 2, then this segment uh, ct is going to be lowercase r minus 2 as well. And furthermore, uh, we can see that this uh, diameter ef length is going to be 2 times radius uh, lowercase r. 
and we know this uh, tiny segment uh, TF length is 1 so therefore uh, this segment uh, ET length is going to be 2R uh, minus 1 so I can write down uh, 2R minus 1 and now let's recall the intersecting chords theorem according to this theorem if two chords intersect in a circle uh, then the product of the measures uh, of the segments of the chords are equal as you can see in this given diagram and here we got these two chords uh, A, C and B, D and they intersect each other at this point and as a result we ended up with these segments uh, A, this segment uh, B, this segment uh, C and finally this segment uh, D such that the product of uh, these segments uh, A and B must be equal to the product of uh, segment C and D as you can see in this equation A times B equals to C times D and now we are going to apply this uh, intersecting chords theorem on this given problem we got these uh, two chords uh, B C and uh, E F and they intersect each other at this point T such that the product of these uh, two segments so uh, R minus 2 and R minus 2 must be equal to 2 R minus 1 times uh, 1 so therefore we could write down uh, R minus 2 times uh, R minus 2 is going to be equal to 2 R minus 1 times uh, 1 and now we are going to multiply these two factors by double uh, distribution so therefore we are ended up with the r square minus uh, 2r once again minus 2r plus 4 is going to be equal to we are going to distribute over here that's going to give us 2r minus 1 and now we are going to combine these two like terms so therefore we ended up with the r square minus uh, 4 r plus uh, 4 equals to 2 r minus 1 and now I am going to move uh, all these terms uh, on the left hand side so therefore we ended up with the r square uh, minus 4 r plus 4 and that's going to give us uh, negative 2 r plus 1 equal to 0 let's combine these like terms so r square minus uh, 6 times r plus 5 is going to give us uh, equal to 0 so now we ended up with this quadratic uh, equation r square minus 6r plus 5 equal to 0 and now we can factor them out uh, that's going to be r minus 1 times uh, r minus 5 is going to be equal to 0 and now I'm going to separate these two factors uh, r minus 1 equal to 0 and the other one is going to be r minus 5 equal to 0 for this first equation our radius r value is positive 1 unit and for this second equation our radius r value is positive 5 units and now let's make an observation we can see that r equals to 1 value is not feasible so therefore we are going to reject this uh, r equals to 1 value and we are going to accept uh, r equals to positive 5 value so thus the radius uh, lowercase r of this uh, green shaded circle turns out to be 5 units and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area is always equal to pi r square where lowercase r is the radius and in our case our lowercase r value is 5 so thus our this uh, green circle area is going to be pi times uh, radius r is 5 whole square that is going to give us equal to 25 times uh, pi square units the area of this green circle so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this green shaded circle turns out to be 25 times pi square units and that's going to be approximately equal to 78.54 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye